Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph and today I'm going to react to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1, Episode 19, Black Flash. So last episode, I'm going to admit, not too much happened. We didn't really get to see a whole lot or any, actually any of it. Any backstory of anybody really. I feel like last episode was pretty dragged out, nothing big happened. The only thing that kind of happened is that the villains like, you know, Mahito, Gito, like all those people, they're starting to pursue their plan and kind of like, you know, take over the exchange thing and they put like a dome over it to keep Gojo out and they're setting their special grade curses into it to, you know, face off against the students and stuff and basically pursue their plan to get Yuji. And we left off with three of the students face to face with one of those special grade curses. So let's see how they do against that. Haven't seen Yuji in a while, so they're not really focusing on him much. I feel like we're gonna get more focus on him towards the end of the season. But right now I think we're like finishing off like all the like mini side plots that are happening, or at least, you know, the mini fights, I should say, the mini side fights, dealing like with all the other side characters besides Yuji. But for now, let's see what happens to this special grade curse and let's see how they defeat it. If you guys are enjoying my Jujutsu Kaisen series so far and you guys want to see all these Uncut reactions early, make sure to check out my Patreon, link will be in the description. Without further ado, it's gonna be Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1, Episode 19, Black Flash. Let's go! Hey everyone, just want to give a special thanks and a shout out to my Patreons for supporting me. Over on my Patreon, you'll gain early access to all of my uncut reactions on top of other perks. Check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. That was a close one. Are you alright? Salmon. Salmon. Here it comes! Stop it! Convergence! Piercing blood! Oh! It actually scratched him! Hurry! Those wounds will heal quickly! Inumaki will stop it. We'll attack, and then we'll get away from it. Then we'll repeat that as we try to get outside this veil, and rejoin the principal and the others. Okay. But, there's no telling when this current balance will fall apart. His cursed speech doesn't seem to be very effective, and we're not getting a chance to contact the teachers. If it figures out how to deal with his cursed speech, we're finished. Mm, okay, so yeah, it's cursed speech that he has. Okay. Inumaki will stop it for you. Attack it now! Stop. <gasps> no! Oh. Oh! He's the one hitting his limit first? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so Megami's the last one. He wasn't even using powerful words, but it still destroyed his throat. This thing's just that much stronger. It destroyed his throat. Oh. Blast away! Damn. All right. He's pushing his limit. He can't take it anymore, yeah. Yeah, this thing is pretty overpowered. Whatever you throw at him, he just you keeps coming back. <gasps> oh! There's Maki. Oh, he cut it! Now that sword isn't so bad. I have something even better. Though I have to say... Nunchucks. Oh no, they're disgusting. not nunchucks. I kind of like them. God, that's her stash? Cursed Jeez. Cursed tools are weapons imbued with curses. Based on their force and their effects, they're divided into grades one through four, just like sorcerers. Okay. You'd better not lose that. Don't worry, I won't. Yeah, Yuji already broke- Yuji already broke one of them. <laughs> Indeed, that is a good weapon. Demon dog. With the exception of my expanded technique, bottomless well. If any of my ten Shikigami are completely destroyed, I can never manifest them again. See, like, I know those died. Can he respawn them? All of the power and techniques of each of the destroyed Shikigami are passed on to the others. Oh, okay. So they can never be reborn or anything? Oh. It 
trying to take off my wounded arm first. But that's so sad though. Once they are once they're dead, they're dead. Aww. Nice. Wow. Don't ever let me use that three-piece staff again. Huh. It's too hard. Uh, you get used to <gasps> Megami! Oh. Maki! Damn it. All because I screwed up. It didn't affect her though, it's not in her. You shouldn't use curse techniques anymore. The butt embedded in you now loves cursed energy. So the more you use techniques, the deeper its roots will extend into your body. Ouch. But you're missing the edge you had earlier. Who's gonna save him? Gojo? Someone's gotta save him. Someone's gonna jump in. Our job here is done. It's time to tag out. Yuji and Toto? Yep, I knew it. <gasps> Alrighty. The game has changed. Alright, friend. Are you good to go? Friend. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I had a feeling someone was going to jump in. Like, they were not doing well. They actually looked like they were about to fucking die. And, yeah, so Megami ain't doing too well. I mean, Maki isn't, but Megami literally has a fucking curse growing out of his damn stomach. And he said himself in order to get it out, he has to, like, basically rip out his stomach or some shit. I did not even see that thing plant a whatever the hell he did to Megami in the first place. That was crazy. But the tables have turned and Toto and Yuji are now here and I feel like this curse stands no chance against them. However, Megami is dying I'm pretty sure with that thing in him. Unless if they miraculously kill this curse I wonder if that goes away. But uh, yeah, a lot of people are not doing too well and let's see if Toto and Yuji can handle this curse. You got beaten this badly. Come on, Toto. We need you. Take these two and get them out of the veil. According to the report from Nishimiya, this is an anti Gojo veil, so the rest of us can come and go without any issues. Anti Gojo veil. It's okay. It's okay. God, don't do that to him. Looks like you've realized it. Those who are growing wings are forever untouchable by the rest of us. And that's exactly where Itadori is standing now. <laughs> you die again and I'll kill you myself. <laughs> Come on now, let's go. If you can't land a black flash, then I'll just watch you die. Okay, well there's no the... what happens to you. There's the episode Got title. That? Yes. What is this black flash? And how will they attack? Hmm. Damn. You can talk? Yeah. That's interesting. Are you connected with... A humanoid cursed spirit with a patchwork face. Okay. He's fast, and he has more explosive power than that girl earlier. Black Flash! Damn it. He missed. Yeah. My friend. What the fuck? Anger is a trigger for sorcerers, and it can work for you both ways. Sometimes they lose because their own anger disrupts their cursed energy to the point they can't exercise their abilities. But all that rage is too much for you. So, put it away for now. Thank you for that. My new best friend! Oh, God. Black Flash. It's a distortion of space, born from the impact of cursed energy delivered within a trillionth of a second of a blow. Oh wow. The instant cursed energy makes impact within that trillionth of a second of a blow. Ew. Space is distorted, and cursed energy flashes black. That's pretty cool. Oh. Black flash! Oh. Oh, he got it. Yeah. He's done it. Bruh, 
Toto kills me, man. All because of that one fucking question that he asks, what kind of woman is your type or something? If you answer the way he wants you to answer, or the answer that he wants to hear from you, he'll be like your best friend, I should say. But if you don't, then he just beats the shit out of you. For example, Megami, he didn't answer it like he wanted to, and he beat the shit out of Megami. Yuji answered how he wanted to, and now he's like saying, oh, I'm your best friend, and shit like that. Bitch, you barely know him, what? And on top of that, he's like a giant sim for one of these like e-girls or whatever. Oh man, Toto, man, he's a fucking character. He makes me laugh, bro. But on the other hand, he really does give good, like, at least fighting and battle advice, especially to Yuji, so that's pretty cool to see. But Yuji accomplished this, like, Black Flash thing, so I think he's pretty much taking out this curse now. I wonder how Megami and Maki are gonna, like, recover, especially Megami. I wonder if they're gonna get that thing out of him. But since it looks like Yuji's defeating this special grade curse, I wonder if someone else is gonna join like at the last minute, like once he just defeats his curse or when he's about to defeat the curse, I wonder if someone like Gito or Mahito is gonna come in. I wouldn't doubt that they pull something like that, but let's see so far. Let's see how he finishes curse off. He's done it. Mm-hmm. Black Flash? So I did that? Congratulations, brother. Okay. Now, you can become truly strong. I love how the curse is just watching it. Something about them is different from the other masses. Damn, he could just regenerate. He can heal? Yeah. A cursed spirit is made up of cursed energy. Gotta destroy the energy and shit. And if you crush their head, it's game, set, and match. Okay. Now, what do you say you and I get cooking? All right. Let him cook, bro. Then perhaps. Are we gonna take it off finally? I should take you two oh, somewhat geez. seriously. Oh. <laughs> what is this music? All right. At least Yuji and Toto are a team. Alright, like it's really cool to see them work together. That hit hard. Their blows aren't as bad as that flashy black one before. But each one possesses enough force that if they continue steadily, they'll damage me. Brother! Brother. They dodged that? But what is this? This strange feeling? I don't mean to call you a liar. I know why you're fighting. For everyone, the soul is a blend of instinct and reason. So as a result, no one can say anything about an individual's ratio. But your soul is a little constrained, isn't it? You, Hanami. In actuality, you're much stronger, aren't you? Ooh, yeah, I was about to say, how do they stick out that landing? You monster! What the fuck? Oh, jeez. Maito. Right now. I'm enjoying a fight. Yeah, now you're enjoying I'm it. Enjoying a fight, Maito. You enjoy it when you're troll. Are you good to go, brother? Or when you know you're yeah, winning, you basically. Bet. That's excellent. Me too. Then it's time to unleash my technique. Alrighty, I can't wait to see what that is. Alright, that was episode 19 of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1. Okay, so we're not finishing off with them, like, you know, defeating it. The fight is just getting started between them. So, I will admit, so far, they really are dragging these fights out, like, these scenes at least. They're really taking their time and, like, you know, progressing the story throughout these episodes. Because, like I said, I feel like we're not going to finish this entire exchange thing until the final episode of the season. But okay, so, so far, Yuji finally has control of his cursed energy. This special grade curse is completely overpowered, and we finally get to see what the fuck it was under all of that crap. I'm just wondering, how the hell are are they gonna defeat this thing? How the hell are they gonna exercise it? Cause this thing, like I said, is severely overpowered. I don't even know how you would beat something like that. Like, geez, you would have to be overpowered yourself, like Gojo. But like Toto said, he has his technique to try, so I guess next episode we're gonna see what that is. Hopefully by next episode we'll see the end of this fight and then we can move on to something else. Maybe we'll see Mahito or Gido join the thing and try and take over Yuji or something, or just take him in general. Cause they see him as Sukuna's vessel, not really like 
as Yuji. But I will say it's really cool to see that Toto and Yuji are getting along and they fight really well together, which I'm very surprised about. Toto, man, he'll never disappoint me, man. Man's is too funny. But yeah, like I said, not really progressing the story too much, so not a whole lot to say. I guess next episode we'll see what Toto's technique is and it'll see if it's powerful enough to take this thing down. And hopefully we'll see the end of this fight next episode. And like I said, we'll just move on to more things. See if Mahito will come in or even Gito or something else or like, you know, even Junko. And we'll see if they're successful. If you guys are enjoying my Jujutsu Kaisen series so far and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early, make sure to check out my Patreon. Link will be in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future reactions. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.